Lava from a volcanic eruption in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo stops just short of the city of Goma after forcing thousands to flee. To the Democratic Republic of Congo, where people have started to return to their homes after one of the world's most active volcanoes erupted on Saturday night. Thousands of homes were destroyed and at least five people died in the rush to get away from the lava, which stopped just short of the city of Goma. Here's our Africa correspondent, Reha Kansara. This is one of the world's deadliest volcanoes. Matnyurugongo erupted late Saturday night, setting homes and roads on fire. The first warning came when a thick orange cloud illuminated the night sky. Locals fled in desperation some of them to neighboring Rwanda, others to a nearby town. It's something we've never seen before. We're all together, shaken. We watched the whole neighborhood go up in smoke. The fire came right down to here. Even now, we can still see lava. The last time Nyiragongo erupted, its consequences were devastating. 250 people died and hundreds of thousands were left homeless. Aid agencies say early warning systems failed. When the, the volcanology team or monitoring people are not even aware of the, 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 the behavior of the volcano, this can, this can affect the, whole, the entire uh, town. While we continue to feel the seismic activity, the, an eruption, an, a, a new eruption cannot be ruled out. Now the orange sky has turned a dreary gray. And as people return home, at least five tremors have been felt in the aftermath. There have been reports of casualties, but the full picture is yet to emerge. Reha Kansara, BBC News in Nairobi.